we gon' get there. Yeah, we gon' get there. Yeah, we gon' get there. Yes, 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 yes. We back, we back, we are back. And we are just browsing. I got my good friend Jade. Hi, Jade. Hi. Come in, Jade. Okay. Jade is fashionably late. Oh, fashionably. Hello. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, a little bit. You good? You good to it? I am. Hello. Yeah, bring it back. Get comfy. I'm comfy. You comfy? <laughs> <laughs> she tried to um extort me for food today. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't try to extort Anybody me. Anybody that knows me knows I love to eat. They have to take dates is mandatory. Um, if you're trying to court the person, yes. Mandatory, no exceptions. I mean, everything has an exception. Depends what's going on. So but if you, you are trying to court the person, get to know them. Of course, you would get them on, put them on a date. Now, if you want to go on the second, third, and fourth, that goes on the first one for the first one. So if a dude is trash on a date, date one. He doesn't make it to date two. It depends. Hmm. Shout out to Bumble, by the way. Yes. Love it. So, first date, are you ordering everything on the menu? Mm-mm. Um, I order what I have in my, in my pocket, just in case. It could go left. What do you mean? If anything may happen on a date, so you could... All of a sudden, talk and then get into an argument, and the nigga run off <laughs> and or something leave you like with the that. bill. Who knows? I got it to cover it because <laughs> I'm not dining in that shit because I wouldn't make it pay. I hope I've been too nervous. I would that, be nervous. That ever happened to you? No, no, has it? Oh my god, it did. So he dashed on the bill. Yes, he did. We're uh, gonna talk about you know who you are. <laughs> what he we do? We went to okay. There was a concert right by Cuban Pete's. So then he asked if I wanted to go. So I was like, okay. And you know me, I want to eat. I haven't been up to Montclair in a while. So we go to Cuban Pete's. But the way you have to park, it was kind of like you could get a ticket or you could get towed, but the cops don't really mess with you Mm because it is Montclair. Nigga was like, oh, let me go check on the car. Nigga, take you 10, 20 minutes to check on the car. I'm still waiting for nigga to check on the car. I go, word? (laughs) Wait. And the bill is maybe like forty dollars. Cuban pizza is not that expensive. So he got out of there on for forty forty dollars. Forty dollars. Then the motherfucker tried to call me later, years later. Oh hey, what's up? I'm like, why does this nigga sound familiar? I said, oh hell no. You want to spin the block? And how? There's no spinning over here. No spinning? No dead end. Damn. That's it. That's maybe it. you want to spend you eighty dollars the next time. You're not gonna fool me again, and that's it. He went. He wanted to, you know, spend eighty dollars the next time. Yeah, on my dime. <laughs> no, so you I'm had sorry. to pay the forty. I mean, I paid it because I, like oh. I said, yeah. I had it to pay. But what happens if I didn't have it to pay? You would have been washing dishes or something or in the jail. <laughs> had to, you know, just uh-huh. skate out of there fast. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. dates is mandatory, uh-huh. and if you like them, date two. Yes. Is date three mandatory? I mean, they're not mandatory. Just Uh if it flows, it flows. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, no love lost, no love found. Is it like date three, then you get some? Listen, you could fuck (laughs) a nigga on the first night. If it's G is... It's It's not about G. I think it's about a feeling. Because I know... I mean, women, but I know for me... I already know five minutes if I'm gonna let you hit or not. Is that every because I don't women know if be like nah, I don't know. that's my dep- friend. I know for me, I already know off the bat. Like mm, I think I'm gonna give him some, but then sometimes they mess up. You be like, ah, oh, I'm good. I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> so it. it so just every depends. woman or just you? I think just me, but I think. When you meet somebody on the street, you'd be yeah. like, oh, like, I wouldn't mind hitting that or let's see how, go. you know what I mean? And sometimes, so you yeah, just be yeah, like, I think I don't just like be dudes. Yes. It don't take us five minutes. We know five seconds. I mean, 
it'd be like, oh yeah, it's worth it. But then five minutes. That's all y'all get five minutes, not even sometimes. So just stop, Jade. All right. Five minutes, but then I'm like, oh, I love him. I don't do that. What do you mean? No, you, like, you don't love. No. Oh. Just like it's a you time guys, limit for the time limit. No, it's not a time to limit. Love. But, no, but it's just like if you if you pay a chick, you're just paying her to leave. You just chicks sometimes just want the D and just go. Bye. Yeah. What else? He doesn't even know I have, have to talk. I mean, you know, <laughs> something, but I don't know. It depends. It depends on the situation, the person. If you're feeling the person, it goes by that. Because you can wait. Mm-hmm. To mess with somebody, and then you could wait a, what a good month, maybe two, maybe mm-hmm. even six months, and they just skied off. Mm. You waited, yeah. But then it could be opposite. You end up messing with the dude for that night, and yeah. they stick around. So it 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 depends. So it's a it's that lie about what you said. Skied off. Hmm. It's, what I'm saying, <laughs> the lie about oh six months, one month, and then you um, because let's keep it a whole hundred. You can wait six months, a year, two years. You really don't know the person. Sure, I don't. People been married or engaged or whatever for five, ten years, and then all of a sudden you be like, "Whoa, where'd this person come from?" So I just think you just have to kind of hopefully trust the process and be open-minded but there is potentially to get hurt or waste your time but anytime you talk to somebody it's a risk it is a risk man a risk of them being trash or being an amazing person that too so you don't believe in making people wait yes you should make them wait but then sometimes you just be like "Mm, i don't want to it seems like girls make the the guy that they really like not wait. That's true. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It depends on the situation. Depends. Depends. Shout out to Bumble. Yes, yes. So you working out, Jade? Mm-hmm. How's that going? I'm too big. You know, and get into a relationship, you eat out a lot, you get complacent, the person don't want you to go to work, you'd be like, okay, wow. and you stay home, and then it just comes on you fast, and your particular age, it comes on you quicker, so... I'm so guys don't, be like, together. yo, don't don't work, ma, just stay home. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. They say, how much you make that night? Okay, well, you just give them a number, let's say four. Yeah. Here, I'll give it to you. Cool. And stay home. Stay home. Must be nice. Well, when it's nice, it's nice. But when it's bad, <laughs> it's bad. I wish somebody paid me to stay home. Who you telling? Pay me to stay home. I like that. You would never I like stay that for home. You. <laughs> You'd be like, hi, right, boo. I'm home like with 20 minutes and you be out somewhere. So do the guys that you want a relationship with, a pr- like they... They don't mind with your profession. I think um, it's a difference between a square, meaning that they just come in, they just see the glitz, the lights, the drink pours or bartenders or the dancers just shaking, shaking. They don't really know what's really going on. But the person that knows the life, yeah. it's different. They'll be like, well, I know you're in a dude's face, but it's just for money. Yeah. Versus, why are you in his face for? What you doing? But that time, making my money. That's how he met you, though. Because if... It, yeah, why? That's how you met her. Some people can handle it. Some people can't. So y'all be knowing when a guy's a newbie. Oh, that's a newbie right there. No, maybe. Not really. Let's get him, girls. That's a newbie. No. I just <laughs> feel like you just be like, oh. Is, is he giving donies? Is, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, he's tipping good. Okay, cool. Just people respect the hustle. They go to have a good time. It's just like if you watch Sports Center for entertainment. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot going 
more going on in entertainment. Exactly. And then you have other people (laughs) that are mad with the world and they want to talk down the chicks. That's one place that a guy could turn down a bad chick is that type of environment. Yeah. I'm just saying. Anywhere else, you can... What? Who are you talking to like that? You know, but then you just be like, all right, babe. Yeah. Where's where's your first experience? Your first day. What was that? Oh, I was so nervous. I started at the Players Club. You know how long ago that was in the Bronx? And, um, well, it, it started I was working at a regular job at the time, and the girl I was working with, she was like how she made a couple of dollars. I was you're like, on, you're on a regular job? Yeah, regular job. What was that? Huh? What are you doing? Like? You didn't know all that. <laughs> <laughs> so it was in retail. Okay, like okay. That. So then I asked her, and I was like, like, where are you going? Because we usually go out after work. She's like, oh, I'm just going to go and hang out. I was like, she's lying to me. So I picked her brain, and she was like, okay, I'm not going to lie, I danced. But where she danced, that was a place called Seductions in Queens. Okay. I think I've been to Seductions. It's, oh, oh, I miss it. Yeah, yeah. go back. Yes, Hempstead. Yeah. Woo-hoo. So, er, <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, she went back to work. She told me where she went. I went there. Well, that wasn't the first day, but I was like a pre. So I went there, the manager... As if I ever danced before, I said, no, he said, just sit and watch. I'm like, sit and watch? What do you mean, sit and watch? Oh, I know what he means now. Okay. Every A person is going to tell you what you need to know. Just sit and watch them. You just see how people move. You, okay. you know what I mean? So, anywho, fast forward, I go to the Players Club. I was so nervous. It was the hugest stage ever. Like, fine, black, I mean, black women. That, you know, got into a little arguments here, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. When I mean up to par, they didn't mind helping you in the dressing room and everything like that. And the house mom, Stacy, so nice. She was like, what's your name? So I was like, uh, Jay. She was like, no, Jade. So that's where Jade come from. That's close to my real name. Okay. But I got nervous and I was like, oh my God, like the stage is so big. Like, you know how you go to the other side of the pole? I had to learn how to dance in between the beat. And I, yeah. So wait, you already, you, you knew like, oh, I, I got the body to do this. Yeah. You already knew that, yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, you mean the mirror can tell you. Oh, okay. So it was an easy but transition. But more than that, it wasn't. It wasn't. It's just more than your body. It's it's mental. It's it's like you're you're just you're just so bare. Your soul is bare. Yeah. Everybody just staring at you, and it's like, oh my <laughs> god. It's like I'm nervous. Like if I fall, everybody gonna see it. Like yeah. If I don't fall, everybody gonna see it. If I just stand there, I just twirl around. I don't know what to do with a moth beat and everything. It's it's a so, lot. So the first day, this might come by like pow. Smack you on your ass? I think that was the second. What did you and like? They, Yo. Or you just like, all right, fall in line. I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> but I was nervous. Like, I would talk to niggas too long, and they just <laughs> give, because, you know, they could they could tell if you're new. Oh, okay. They tell if you're new, if you're green the as everydayers. a banana. Yeah. Yeah. The they romers. could tell. It's your manager. You'd be like, now you'd be like. Hey, what's up? Um, do you need change? Or you know, of course you say hello first, but it's like you just go straight to it. Yeah. Like, hey, boo, what's up? And where your name? Which come from? You just talk the whole lineup of what to say with you know that whole spiel. And now just you just look back and shake, or you know, of course you say hello first. But yeah. I wasn't doing. I was too nervous. I was like, oh my god, I'm so nervous. That he turns me down or whatever. Niggas would look at me. I'd be like, oh god, what's he looking at? You know, I know. You're like, I don't get it, but I was nervous. I still get nervous sometimes. Dude, it it wasn't was some dudes, but like, yo, yo, I want to marry you, yo. Like, I was said dancing. that though, but they, yeah. but a couple said, "What else are you gonna do besides dancing?" A lot did. A lot of people say, a lot of men say that. Yeah. So is that like, when you hear that, that mean ah, he 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 kind of like me. Like, oh, you trying to save me from the club? But that came later on. That whole oh, mentality. Okay. Now it's like, oh, well, you know, I do this and that. I just don't dance. But at the same time, it. In the meantime, nobody can tell you how you pay your bills. How do yeah. you how do you feed your family? You know. So what when I'm you saying? first started, you you making a, you making a, like oh no, I didn't no money. Oh no, I got there. Whoever knows me knows. I got there at eight o'clock, so I could be the cheap. I still like cheap tip out, but I got there early because I would just and this goes back to seduction, sitting and watching. Yeah. So um, I would be like, how come I'm here all these hours and these fucking bitches? get on the stage or get rain showers and everything. Yeah, a lot of him had talent, but it was a lot of backstory to that as well. And that goes back to what the manager and seductions are just sit and watch. So after yeah. I came back from college, 
Um, I didn't graduate though, almost, <laughs> but I didn't. I was partying too much, but I took a break, came back, I said, I'm going to get it. So I went back to what they told me in seduction, just sit and watch. And I sat and watched, and I said I learned everything I needed to know. Uh, it was get a you one old school dancer, money. exactly named Redbone, <laughs> and she would just look at a dude and grasp on, and she just made you feel like you were the only one in there, and everybody else was non-existent. She mm. made a few dollars, and it was one girl. She went on the stage. Ah, I'm mad all the time. This, that, and the third, or whatever. But she made her money off of whatever she was doing. Yeah, and they. You know what I mean? Paid it forward, but they did it on the stage. or but You know mm. what I'm saying? As with the Rick Ross said, money make you come. And that was her thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, when she would come late, so I'm like, how come I, I'm here since the gate is, <laughs> is freaking down? About yeah, to come up. You opening the joint up. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and you wiping say, the tables you, That's why I said you mind your business, and you worry about your own money because you don't know what people are doing for their money. Yeah. Some are just dancing, some are doing whatever, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because you pay your bills, it says what at the end, thank you for your payment. They don't ask where it's coming from and anything like that. Yeah. And that's it, yeah. So what was the most you ever made? One night. Mm -hmm. Okay. She don't want to buy following her home. Like, I don't make that no Jay more. Jay might have that I'm in the back pocket. I'm lazy. I'm like, what? <laughs> I gotta go over there. What? So, he spend the money. What he doing? I'm saying. So, is it more money back then, or more, or you know, more money now? Of course, it was more money back then. They what? respected it more, and it was sorry, but it was they actually had. I don't want to say it, but actual bartenders with licenses that would do a little do 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 but not yeah. that much yeah and they didn't have dancer outfits on instagram wasn't popping so it was a yeah. couple of things you know but they just worried about the girls yeah i remember the transition when it was a mess the, the dancers were really angry like yo like yo they taking all the money but at the end of the day it's fucked up but i get it because if I'm a business owner, you yeah. only get money off of me one time. Mm. Tip out. Yes. Maybe if I buy a hookah, maybe if I buy a drink. Yeah. But with those with those women that are behind the bar, get them in, get them out. So, mm. oh, you're not going to sit all day with a beer when I got somebody that wants to spend $500 or even $2,000. Yeah. So it makes sense as mm. a business owner. Get them in, get them out. So did you ever think about, like, yo, my mind's well just bartending? It's a lot more than what it seems. A lot more work? Yes. You rather just clap? One, clap and you got to clap, it. clap. Your bar has to make a certain <laughs> amount of money. You have to talk to the niggas more than you have to talk to them. Because let's keep it 100. Like, if your bar doesn't make a certain amount of money, you're gone because everyone's replaceable. You got one person oh. that can fill, you know what I mean? That could be... You know, so that's so, why the, the bartenders be like, yo, I got my clients coming. Exactly. It's, it's about the money because they know that the owner's like, well, good. He, I know he's going to spend at least six, seven hundred dollars. She's like, mm. well, I know. I know that nigga's going to spend a rack or two. So it makes sense. Mm. It's fucked up, but yeah. it makes sense. So you never wanted to make that transition. I did. And then I just was like, mm. we just mm. was. Maybe just clap. Yeah, because you're, you're responsible for other people's money. Oh. You know, you are. I see what it's you're different. saying. Yeah. With that money, yeah. Basically, Versus, and you show yeah. it what happened. Nobody know, then you drinking with the nigga, and you yeah. drunk the king, you fucking up the money. Slide nigga, get a couple drinks and slide off. Like, you yeah, will melt. <laughs> maybe that, or maybe you gave the person the wrong chain. Yeah. Because you press something Cause wrong. Because you little bop, you've been drinking yep, a little bit. And it's horrible. Did you ever be like, yeah, I, I, I'm a queer. I, it's too much. Like, like every year? Times. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm, and especially if it's slow, your mind starts um, going like, what am I going to do with my life? This is upsetting. I can't do this. And then you just like have a good night and be like, ooh, I'm back on, you know? Oh. But it's up and down. You never know what you're going to get when you go in there. This is a risk. It is. I'm not a risk. Like a gamble. Gambling risk. Because you don't know. One night you can come in. You know, there and make a hundred dollars, but you gotta, you have enough to live for tomorrow. So you come back, <laughs> then you can make five or six. You're like, okay, I can 
put okay. a little something away and yeah. do what I got to do and then come back again. And the third night, you could make $80 or no money. It's mm. it's it's very up and down. You know? Is is the strippers getting robbed? Is that a thing? Of course, when you put it on the social media, like when you have all the, the money in your ear, I hear the money yeah. calling, what you think going to happen sometimes? You ever heard like your A couple girls? of them. Not really homegirls, but Not there home was girls, yeah. um, aces, you know, I think that happened to somebody or about oh. to happen. And it's, a, you know, there's wolves out here. Maybe like that's these bitches of the, making these money. I want it too. That's because of social media. I, it does. Yeah. Heightened it. Yeah. I think bitches was getting robbed before, but it just made it worse. <laughs> Now I seen it. You yeah. got it. Yeah. You you put it on your your gram. Yeah. I saw it. I'm coming to get it. Mm-hmm. Because everyone's not there to just have entertainment. Niggas is there working too. Oh. The wolves is outside. Mm. What was the best spot? Um, overall. Yeah, like. I've been there so many. Perfections. Nice. I only worked there on Wednesday because I got in there by oh. um DJ Gully. Hey, Gully. Um, it was cute, but it, it, when you saw it, because, okay, like I said, it was a little different. Well, I didn't say it, though, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> when the money comes up, you be like, oh, let me go get it. Yeah. I swear, bitches was roaching. I swear, bitches had to practice that roaching. at home. Just on the floor, uh, it being unison. Everybody that's, up, that's down a term, one time. roaching. Yes, it is. It's called roaching. Roaching. Tell people what roaching means. Roaching. <laughs> <laughs> Roaching is like, ooh, is when, um, is when the money comes up and everybody in unison drops down and grabs it all at one time. There's no dancing. You just, it's just a free for all and it looks horrible. But if you don't sometimes get down with the roach. get down, you ain't going to come home with no money. So sometimes you got to roach. At that point, yeah, certain point in time you had to roach. <laughs> or you had to be quick. I mean like football playing in here. They said niggas be roaching too. When Floyd Mayweather came in perfection, niggas, he was niggas was roaching? Like, not roaching, they were doing the most. So niggas was trying to like, yo, let me put that in my Yes, pocket. they did. Let me put that. Yeah, um, $100, yeah. The money team money in my pocket. Basically. Niggas on they roach and shit. So, that's, that's kind of crazy. Or maybe not roaching, maybe just kick it to the side <laughs> a little bit. Baby roach. Baby roaching. <laughs> <laughs> Baby roaching. <laughs> That's crazy. Maybe they may not roach it, but they probably just kick it to the side a little bit. Yeah. So is it friends like, in that game or not? Like, it is, did you it learn is. like, you know, sometimes you know you get. I something. met a couple of good friends and a lot of people I don't even want to be bothered with, at all. So is it best like if you had to give, you know, some advice like yo B, you know, once a girl like listen B don't. Don't mess with them broads in here, man. Mm, no, because I feel like you always need friends everywhere you go. Yeah. Maybe not friends per se, but uh, co-workers you're cool with because they could put you on the money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it's, it's always good to work in a good environment, not to be in a hostile environment. Um, you still got to watch people. That's what anywhere you go when yeah. it comes to money. I'm saying when you was new... Were you like, eh, yeah, I'm going to be friendly, and then you just No, I was kinda, I was really quiet. I was quiet to myself. I was nice and sweet uh-huh. until I started getting the game, and we were thigh to thigh with people. It's different. Yeah. Everybody like you till you ain't trying to step on their toes. Yeah. Well, bitch, I want it too. I'm mm-hmm. hungry too. I'm starving too. It's different when you just, okay, I don't want to step on nobody's toes. All right, girl, go get it. Now, no, I'm not. Mm. So, you, so along the way, you made a couple friends. I did, I did, I did. Genuine friends. And is so in that world, is it like, ooh, she doing the most? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's still my friend, but she doing a lot right now. Sometimes you just be, you right, just, bro. you just, oh. and you just, <laughs> like, okay, and you just, you just walk away. You just like, oh well. Would you be like, I ain't doing that? Sometimes depends what's going on. <laughs> ah, I ain't doing that. What she doing? Or sometimes you just gotta get down with him. Oh, we both about to pop it open. You gotta oh, okay. pop it with the next if if that's your partner. 
Yeah. You know, of course. But if not, you just be, you know, if that's your friend and there's money and you see her working and she can't get to it, you'd move it to the side oh, for yeah, her. You know, you have a little bit of camaraderie in it. Respectfully you know. roaching. No, that's not roaching. Oh, okay. Oh, God. You dragging just, it? Yeah, a little bit. A lot bit. Because <laughs> you just move it over. You got oh, no, you looking out. Roach? Yeah. yeah you're looking out. You're oh, looking God. Out. Horrible. <laughs> just looking out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, do all that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Jade is in the building. Yes. So rest in peace, K Slay. Yeah. You knew Slay. Yeah. You and was in it, um straight stunting. Yes. Um, it was uh issue eighteen with um Mariella Estrella. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So was that a different experience being like in the magazine? Like, pe- didn't people notice you more from being in the magazine? A little bit, but I think if I would have took the bull by the horns and would have rode it, maybe it would have been a different experience. But when you miss your bus, you just miss the bus. So you got to get it when it's you have the the momentum. You can't wait. Yeah. I know, it, you know, my other friend, she was like, she was in straight stand. She, had, she said when she was in the magazine, she would get booked. Mm-hmm. I guess for a lot of different situations. I did and I didn't. I just wasn't, I just was very laxed with it. Yeah. Like I said, I didn't take the bull by its horns, but what else are you going to do just that? Or what, what else are you trying to do? Mm. You know? And I didn't, I didn't do it. So I they didn't. probably know you in the jails and all that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you, Jake, you. Now get out, I'm trying to holler. You know, a couple of them then, because. You, you, you don't bed with dingus? Huh? You don't bed with dudes? Who don't who? Bit like, you know, if they locked up, like, yo, I'm going to hold it down with you. No, because nobody going to give me a ripped dollar out here if I'm if I'm inside. No, so if you mess with a dude and you get locked up, um, you going? No. You going to stay with Maybe, him? Maybe. You mean what? <laughs> Are you going to keep the relationship going even though when he locked up? I mean, I'll send you, what do you call it, the, the care I'm packages sorry. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not going all the way to see you on the bus and all that. Seven o'clock, I'm not doing that. I have other shit to do. Man, he got a bed by himself. Well, you can call me on the phone. I'll be there for the phone, <laughs> the emails. But you ain't doing the visit. No, I can't. I can't do the visit. Huh? No. Too much. So you might as well just break up. <laughs> I mean, but granted, I never went, been in that situation. Oh, okay. So I know a couple of people that went, but they weren't my niggas. Just or friends. Nigga, yeah. To be specific. <laughs> just friends. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll answer your call, stuff like that. But, you know, if you need something, because you got to respect that when they were outside, they looked yeah, out for looked you. Out. So you're like, oh, okay. okay, you know, if you, you need something, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I don't need to, you know, I'm good. And that's different. But all that, I said, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not, mm-mm. Mm-mm. She's not doing the bed with you guys. So if you get locked up, it's over for you, baby. I mean, I'll be there for phone calls, care packages. So in a <sighs> picture or two. Or two. Or I two. better hold on to the Street Stunt magazine that you got. I don't like, even think that's in production no more. Is it? No, I don't think so. I oh, see. It's a vintage. Rest in peace, K. Slay. Yes. Good yes. dude. Yes, he was. From Harlem. Yeah. Do y'all, um, and y'all dance, can y'all tell, some girls say they could tell what dudes are from. Like, yo, that's a Harlem nigga. That's a Bronx nigga. That's a Queens. Can y'all Maybe identify? Maybe talk. Sometimes no. Uh, Sometimes yeah, yeah, I don't really care anyway. Not necessarily. Just give me the money. I I don't really care where you're from. Basically. Alabama, <laughs> Kentucky. Basically. <laughs> you just want sometimes. Uh, sometimes you just are you tired, but you force yourself to go in every day. Not every day, but before I did. After a while, it's mentally draining. You just be like, oh god, then the drinking for me. I had to drink when I go to work. It mm-hmm. just it is was I feel like I got out my shell more. Um, it's just sometimes you don't feel like being bothered. Yeah, Where everybody touching you behind and the the nonsense or just you just don't want to be there. Not the touching behind. Yes. Too much. <laughs> I'm like, well, why are you there for? It's just it's just a lot. It's it's a lot. It people just see the the lights and the money thrown, and yeah. it is a lot. You have to deal with not only your co-workers, the customers, the guys and the females. Then you got the bartenders. 
Then you got whatever in between. You don't know if people on drugs, drugs. or liquor or both or just crazy and oh let me. All Is right, a lot of the me. dances on drugs? I mean, I don't know. No, I'm just saying you, you ever seen oh she is getting high. I have no idea. <laughs> That's the code. She can't tell if y'all my getting high. My business. <laughs> I got my sip cup. Who knows me? And she got I a go sippy. On the way. I don't know nothing. Get it like, how you ooh, live. She is getting high. Get it how you live. If that's what you like, <laughs> hey, that's I, on you. Is You're it a certain, um, woman. what about the music? Mm -hmm. Like, music in the past and music now, is it a difference? Like, being in on the scene, like, certain music gets you going. It does. So, it is does. music better now or before? I like old school hip hop, so. But they they play old school hip hop in. It the... depends in the beginning, sometimes, and then they play the yeah the current stuff now. So you like put it up. So dancers like when they play like the you know old school hip hop. It depends. I said that's my thing. Everybody don't like that. When I be going to the um the club strip club and they play <laughs> my music, the dancers they start Harlem shaking. No, I'd be like, no, keep shaking your ass. Yeah, don't, you don't throw some shake. money. Throw some no, money. No, don't call them shake. <laughs> <laughs> keep twerking. I'd be like, no, no, I keep guess they figured, twerking. Don't call them shake. Well, maybe, oh, he, he like the shake. So let me do that. He'll throw me something like, okay, oh, yeah, she no, got it. No, I'm not going to throw anything. No, why? No, twerk. But maybe they just. Don't, no. So she going to. Do shoulders and I'm be like, <laughs> 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 no, keep twerking, mommy. I mean, uh, well, what, what, which song was it? Which song would it? I don't be? just, you know, if if I, sometimes when I go there, the DJ be like, oh, you know, he in the building, ah, then they be like, eh. I be like, no, twerk, keep twerking. <laughs> they just break out in the shade. Yeah. Is it a certain type of um, artist you like to hear when you dancing? I love Future. So Future, you like, oh, I'm in my bag. I'm about to make some yeah, money. Yeah, of course. You know, Meek Mill, Rick Ross. What's the, the other one? Um, for now, for me, is, uh, I'm, I think I'm saying it wrong, Cousin Sniz Perfect. That's, I really like the beat. I, it, um, yeah, yeah, but it's okay, though. Okay. Um, certain ones, you just know you automatically going to make. So, oh, trying like it's it. gonna be a good night. So, well, not good, but you be like, okay, that's what I can kind of get loose to. That's my thing. Is the DJ yeah. a thing too? Like, oh, yo, this DJ is DJ tonight. Of course, it's gonna be a good night. That's who holds the club down. Oh, okay, because you have the promo. So it was something that I saw a while ago. That was who was more important: the owner of the club, the promoter, or the DJ? Yeah. And uh, long story short, it was the DJ. Oh, because he gonna play the, the joint exactly. He know what to play exactly. when exactly. Yeah. What about the host? The dude that's on the mic. Of course, Yo, spend that really money. That Keep twerking that thing. You don't really see that too much. Maybe down south you see it more. Not really up here yet. Um, um, I mean, Starless is pretty low. Oh, okay. I've been there in a couple of years. So oh. Now. But I can go one, one way or the other. <laughs> oh, so one that's not a thing. I mean, no, but that's, that's one usually club, oh that's usually though. that's usually the DJ talking. Sometimes, but sometimes the DJ don't want to do so all that. They Ashley, wanna... Kim, Tanya to the stage. Yeah, that's they the DJ. just do the yeah they just oh. do the rotation sometimes or sometimes like you said the pretty Lou he'll maybe say it I don't yeah. you know it depends. Oh. Maybe you could go to a smaller club and they just you know call it or it could be you just know what time to go. They have the house mom that does it. It's, it's yeah. a couple of so. Things. Is out of when you go out of town, do you be like, this is better than? Of course. Home. I love out of town Atlanta. Is, is it better? I love more. Atlanta. That means more money. Yeah. They respect it. But more. that's their culture out there. It, see what I'm saying? The A. So is that like I right. when you and when you was like, you really in it? You like nah, a couple times a year I gotta go down there. I did it during the pandemic. I've been supposed to go down there years ago. My girlfriend was like, yeah, you need to come. I was like, okay, I'm going to come. But I was just so wrapped up of being up here. And yeah. I was like, oh, I really don't want to go. I 
I went a couple places, but I just I just don't know why I didn't go. I just oh, okay. it wasn't the timing. And then during the pandemic, I loved it. And even after. What about Miami? Miami's cool. I just feel like, for me, since I'm a little extra thick, that that extra thick down in Miami goes out the window. Why? I don't know. It just it just is. They get they're slim thick down there. Oh. Yeah. So I remember when I went down to Miami, I was at take one, and one of the girls was like, where are you from? I was like, New York. She was like, oh, you look like you're from Memphis. I was like, Memphis? <laughs> so, I, yeah, so I don't know, but I guess they my size. Yeah. Over there. But, yeah. Uh, it was cool, but, you know. So, I mean, did you, when you was in Miami, did you dance or you didn't dance? Oh, I danced. But they wasn't on your body, you saying like that? Um, yeah, no, it depends. Depends. Like she I too thick, man. Where the slim girl at? Like. No, it wasn't like I just think you just had to be at the right place, right time, or depends what you say, stuff like that. And um, it was a while ago. Like you bring the skinny, uh, skinny one over here. Maybe they have their preference. Shout out to Billy and Bumble. So it was okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna turn down, and turn it down. Oh yeah. <laughs> At the bumble, Trace, what up? Yep. They got the gold going on. Y'all mm-hmm. get money over there, barely, man. Get <laughs> some money with y'all. All right. Little shit. <laughs> so do you? So you pick out? Your is the outfit thing like a, a like a strategic thing for you? Like nah, I just I have so many outfits. It used to be. Now it's just like mm. I don't care. They gonna, I care, but they gonna give me the like, money anyway. No, it's just like me spending two three hundred dollars on an outfit. Now it it makes sense, but then it doesn't because it's like people are wearing the box outfits with the little net. Yeah, twenty dollars and making. Yeah. A lot of money. So I just think it's a preference. Like, you know, you're somebody that wears Reeboks or <laughs> Nikes or Jordans, whatever you want to call it. It's it's a preference. Yeah. So. Hmm. so the um so the outfits is not really It used to be. When I was in the players club, it was a girl named Peaches and girls used to fight over her bag. She had so much and I still have her outfits. Then oh, she went, she used to custom used to, make them. Yep. And she taxed you for it too. Hmm. But nobody else had it. Everybody looked good. If you wore it, you made you made your money back times a hundred in her stuff. I still have it. You could tell like, oh, she must be a, a old school dancer because it's an outfit. But it's yeah. still relevant, but it's just, you know, extra blingy, extra loud like Vicky wine into the strip club. But so is it like when you see other girl like yo she had that joint on over there at the other strip club? No. Yeah, I don't care. Y'all just unless like, yo. it's like every day, every day, every day. Now if you wear the same outfit every day, people start to notice. It's like damn, man. Like, because <laughs> guys don't pay attention to that now. Yeah, but the, the girls starts do. to pay attention. Of course, you know you you dress for the women a lot of you know when you go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, no, you dress for yourself, but then you dress for the women too. So it's almost like that too. Not not dressing for the man. Of course, you know what I'm saying. Like when you go out, chicks are more like, well, "Let me see what is she wearing." Let me look up you up and down. Like, oh, okay, it's cute or whatever. Oh. But you know, you dress for because guys don't care about all the damn. But we don't. And shit. We don't You're care. Just like, Let yeah. me see that pussy. Yeah. <laughs> see that ass. <laughs> yeah. I don't care about the outfit exactly. really. But sometimes be like, oh, that's cute. Some be like, oh, okay, that's cute. Some be like, oh, mm, uh. and, you know. <laughs> but I feel like when you wear we the never same be like, outfit, oh, we we could just identify yo shorty with the red on right there. There yeah. you go, the, the sparkly joint. Yeah. <laughs> the lime green on right uh-huh. there. Uh-huh. So you got a specific color up, like yo, I'm wearing this, uh-uh. this red joint. I'm gonna get money tonight. Don't really uh-huh. care. Maybe if I have a different pair of shoes on, you want them to match or something like that, but not for a specific color. Oh. You know, I do love pink, but no. See, that's what... Oh, you you like pink. I love pink. But I don't just say, oh, I'm going to wear pink. 
They're just like, oh, if it's cute, it's cute. Uh, Depends what's going on. So this year, you feel like I'm out the game. I'm transitioning. Transitioning. Because I'm going to be almost 40. I'm tired. My feet don't move. <laughs> I am tired. My feet don't. You got to. This, that, quick. I'm, I'm too slow now. So I know girls be like, well, Friday I'm I'm going to this spot, or Tuesday I'm going. You have it's to this, now. You have to be on the on the gram looking like. Hey. Yes, you do. So how was it before? I mean, you know, social media always was going, but I feel like sometimes before it was more like a call or word of mouth. You're like, okay, whatever was good on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, but it seems like now the weekdays are better than the weekends, and you have to go all week to find out the good days. You don't know if it's going to be okay. good or bad. You know, you just gotta just have to go. Like, oh, girl, is it gonna be good tonight? You don't know, cause that whack night could have been amazing, and the good quote quote Friday Saturday that you yeah. think is gonna be good yeah. is bad. So you just have to. So go. why is it like that? Like, why is the no off idea. days or the I good have nights? No idea. Just everything has its season. You know, cause the niggas with the money is not going to work every day, so they can be there on Tuesday. So the Friday niggas is the niggas who get their check on Fridays, and they like, nah, nigga, I'm on a budget. I'm only gonna spend my hundred dollars in that joint. <laughs> Bare minimum that in that joint. Could could be that too. <laughs> Tuesday, niggas ain't got niggas is hustling. They like, I'm going. I ain't got nothing to do. But sometimes they come. Sometimes they come during the week. They said it's the weekends. Some yeah, people that's don't like all the crowds. Oh, niggas want to be on the low, smacking cheeks. Yeah. Smacking the cheek. <laughs> it's low. I'm low today. It's Tuesday. Or maybe they just want to vibe out. Maybe get mm. some some food and hear some music. Maybe see a little titty shake or two and just go home. Or, you so know. have you ever been in a, in a dude come in there and you're like, man, I'm going to be with this guy. No? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. like No, like you talking, vibing. and Not me, like, but I mean, like, oh, it's cool. Let's, you know. What, what's up? Like, let me get your number. If you don't, you got to feel it, though, like. But sometimes, Penny, you just spend money. You just want to keep them in the clutch just in case. <laughs> it could be both. <laughs> it could be both. It don't got nothing to do with looks or nothing. They could be tro- atrocious. And you like, he's spending the bag. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and you a date him? Well, listen. I'm listening. What did Anna, <laughs> what's her name? Anna Nicole do? She was pushing that old fucking man with a check. Mm. Come here, boo. Sit here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with it. Just like, just like older men talk to younger chicks. Yeah. Mm, I don't know if that's the same thing. <laughs> I don't know if that's the same thing. <laughs> I don't know. Because you rolled it around, you like, I'm going to get a check. But a look, young chick is just like, she just a young thing. Like, But look, at the end of the day, you're not going to find everything in one person that you want. Yeah. That nigga could be fire, bad, get money, yeah. big old thing. Yeah. But bro. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you could meet somebody that's like kind of ugly, kind of big, but he treats you good. Yeah. So it's you're not gonna find so which one you take one person. What? Yeah. <laughs> which one you take? <laughs> Look, ah. I don't know where I'm gonna be at that point in my life. <laughs> I don't know. You you want the <laughs> you want brokey? You want brokey? I want brokey because. So he gonna be sitting up in my house, yeah, eating watching your, my cable, watching eating the kid snacks. Eat, eat, yeah, no. But the one that's getting to the check, he ain't got a lot of time to hang out with you. But at the same time, people make time for what they want to make time for. No, he the guy getting the check they is make busy. Time, yeah, but they make time for what they want to make time for. That's why people say like, "Oh, I can't go over there because it's too far." That goes to that too. People go where they want to go. And that's just what it is. People make time for what they want to make time for. Brokey in the house. He cleaning up. He uh-huh. hanging the pictures on the wall. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking it down. He on call for the knockdown. 
But that's all he has is a knockdown. Because he can't do nothing else. What are you going to do? So then I'm going to be the man. I'm going to tell you what to do. Because mm. the alpha male is not going to have that. No, sir. They're going to tell you what to do. Like, yeah. oh, no, 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 no. I said this, that, and the third. If yeah. not, you know where you could go. But the man that's just throwing it, throwing the thing around, he got to, okay, and well, let me make sure the bed is made up and the kids ate and whatever, whatever. It's different. Alpha male, you not talk to them. So like have that. you ever gotten in a relationship and a guy like, yo, nah, you got to stop. You got to stop dancing. Never. They said, what am I going to do later on? What's my exit plan? So they was never okay with other guys money. smacking the cheeks. Because they know her. it's I'm paying my bills. And it's it's not like I like the nigga. I don't love her. I don't know. Sorry, I don't love him. Maybe I'm her just, too. Who? Look. <laughs> look, I give a dance or two to females. But yeah. I don't, It it's, I you know, just there for the money. Mm. You like when the girls want to lap dance and all that? I mean, it's the same as a dude. Just some chicks be like, oh my God. You're like, just give me the money. I, nah, yeah, you, you know, you smile and be cute. You know, just like, okay, maybe she just never done it before. Or yeah. New to it or just want to have fun. So any That's any couples it. coming in like, hey, uh, do you mind coming home with us? Of course. They would say that, but. You don't you yeah, that's your trip that's your prerogative if you want to. That's go that's right when now. you be looking like, Woo child, shorty like, oh, doing no, I, shorty okay. doing the most over there. No, it's not the most. It's a see, that can happen if you go out to a regular club. Absolutely. So it's just if you wanna go, if you wanna be down or not, it's you know. You but you be nice I'm like, Oh no, I don't I don't do that. But thank you though. Okay, and that's yeah. it. But you learned how you season it now. Yeah, so I you know, know how to control the yeah, just like, the atmosphere. <laughs> or you just be like, I'll be back, and you never come back. Yeah, sometimes when the uh, dancers come up to me, they be like, eh, he ain't spending no money today, I'm out. All right, bye. So y'all talk, eh, man, he ain't spending a check, you I'm know out. You cheap, bro, and you know you ain't spending no Yes, money. sir, y'all know that. <laughs> <laughs> Put that out there. <laughs> you know? But they be like, they roll the girls that roll their eyes at you like, I was like, ain't spent no money. Yeah. Ow. Cause well, them some of them feel like, why you come here? Yes, I get it. I got asked to come here. Duh. Well then you know that that's different, but yeah. you be like, you know, I mean you don't try not to you try not to say it. Yeah. But if you're frustrated, you'd be like, Why are you in here for? <laughs> to look. To look? Yeah. I mean, you can look on the on the Instagram at You're home. Right. That too. For free. No now gas. They, they you got to pay to get in. Nothing. No drink. That's horrible. Just to look. Was you at Sin City? No. I did the um. What they have? Uh, I forgot what they had. They had um. Amateur night. Oh. And I did it, and I won. What about, uh, what's the other one that was in? Bada Bing? Sue's? I never went to Sue's. Oh, no, I did went to Sue's one time, but they didn't really like me. Why? I don't know. He, was, he told, um. The owner? Star. No, it was uh, a promoter. No, it was a, a manager. I forgot his name. He was told Star. I don't really like her. Don't bring her back. <laughs> so she told me after. I was like, but, girl, why didn't you tell does, me what he was But what does that got something? to do with you dancing there? Like. I guess he had a personal maybe dislike. He just, maybe it was that. So they be I like, nah, we need all light skinned girls? No, they had a little bit of everything in suits. Hmm. But so I just I didn't, didn't like me. I said, okay. Well, why do you think it was? I have no idea. You know. I don't know. I would say it. I say everything <laughs> else. I say everything. Maybe I wasn't hustling hard enough, or I was just. I don't know. But would they care what you. If, if the less you hustle, the less you make. True. But maybe he just didn't. I don't know. He ain't like your vibe. Maybe the vibe. Maybe he was trying to get with you. And no, it wasn't it. that. No, it wasn't that. <laughs> he just didn't like me. Access denied. He just didn't like me. It just it is what it is. Do you think certain places is racist? Of course. You experienced that? Have I experienced racism? No. Not racist like, oh, oh y'all don't even like the light skin joints in here. <clears throat> trying to think. Not really that can I recall of. Because I've been dancing for so long. Um, I keep a good rapport 
Yeah. So it'll be like, oh, yeah, she's good. She can come. Yeah, yeah. You know? But then I feel like I can work in the little Spanish spots. I can work in the black spots. I can work in the mixed spots. Yeah. It depends. Is it more money in the hood, hood spots? It's all different. Oh. It's all different. It's all different. You know, the hood always going to keep couple dollars rolling around, but... <laughs> couple street niggas is around. Yeah, a little bit, a little something, something. Little hustlers. Okay, yeah. okay. But, but just because you may not make money that night with them, don't mean that they may not come back. Yeah. The next night, be like, oh, yeah, she was cool. Last time I spend money and bless you. So, you know, yeah. it, just, it depends. That's with any club. Yeah. Anywhere. Anywhere you go. Jade is here. Hello. So you about to transition. Are you sure you transition? I mean, if I need to go back and bring out them shoes, I will. So you ain't gonna put that stuff. You ain't no, throwing that away. I'm gonna throw. Well, no. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep a little on the side. Maybe give a little away, sell a little bit. But I don't know if I can still shake a little bit. If I need to, I will. That's just what it is. And I, you know, I might have to, you know, go back. It's like going back to the block. Yeah. <laughs> One night back. only, or maybe one weekend only, or something like that. You never know. It's just, it is what it is. You never know. You know, life throws balls at you, and sometimes, you know, you could miss, catch it or bob and weave, whatever you want to call it. So you just got to. So, would you recommend if you had a little sister or something, and she like, yo, I want to. Would you, like, yeah? Or would you be like, nah? Or would you, you know, divert <sighs> the person away from doing it? Um, a sister? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm the well, only child, so I got to worry about that. So, next question. That's, well, <laughs> uh, little homegirl, I don't know. I don't know. If you have children and you need to feed your, your children yeah, and you can't wait to get a job, you need it now, I don't see anything wrong with it. Clap the cheeks. Clap them. Clap on, clap on. Let's go. <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm. So you trying to uh, work out, get toned and fit. You like dudes with muscles? <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's mandatory? No, it's not mandatory. I like who I like at that moment in time. Sometimes you like the stomach, you know, rub the stomach a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes maybe you want a short man to look down at. It depends what's, what's going on. But I do like a nice. A nice yeah. strong man, strong man. muscle, like nigga bench pressing five hundred and shit. Yes, because I'm a little big myself. Oh, okay, there should be no excuse. So do you look at guys like, man, you can't handle me, man. Let's get out of here. You'd be surprised it'd be the little ones that could, <laughs> or could be the big ones that be. Oh God, you know it depends. <laughs> it depends. I do like a work out, my too. niggas. Get it right. I do like a muscle or two. <laughs> or two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jay is oh. crazy. But, you know, mm -hmm. shout out to Jay. Jay came to hang out. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about her life. Well, he's that part of my life. Certain things I don't, only people that know me know me yeah. know. And that's what? It. You're cooking and all that? Only people that know me know I cook. That know so me, know does me. a, uh, like, the more you like a guy, does the, like, now he get this, I'm cooking him the steak. And, or if it's a nigga, you don't really like, nigga, this nigga gonna get oodles and noodles. If I don't like him, I'm not cooking nothing. Do we get some or no? Get some what? Fool? You? Yeah. No. Oh. You're not even going to come in my house. Damn. But if I like you, you're a guest. So I want you to feel comfortable. Yeah. So, of course, I have um, hospitality and make sure, you know, you're good and you're comfortable. It's not uncomfortable. You know, you want to make your person that you invite. Yeah. Want to come back. Steak, mash, macaroni. And steak. All. You know how high steak is? Ha! <laughs> what? That's From too Whole much. Foods? Yes. <laughs> but if you like the nigga with the muscles, you gonna make you gonna get oh, that steak. Daddy gonna get it. 
They would get steak and all that. Yes, lobster tails, everything. Damn. <laughs> Somebody better make me some lobster tails. I guess that's like the grand finale, huh? The grand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make me some shit. Fuck that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jay, thanks for coming by, hanging Thank out. Thank you. And giving us some insight. I hope I didn't offend too many people, but I've been dancing for over a couple years. So How many years? Um, enough. I'm not oh. saying that. Just time goes so fast. And you've seen some... I seen a lot of dancers and stuff like doing other stuff, mm-hmm. more corporate stuff. Is that a thing? Of it's course. like when you tie. Like I'm tired. But I mean, it's not. It's nothing bad of having just one yeah. instead of having one stream of income. Of course, you want a couple more because the clubs could be slow. It's summertime about to come up. You said, okay, well, I still can go make money over here. I don't see anything wrong with that. I feel like you just, uh, you get the money so fast, you spend it even faster. So then you yeah. really have to go back to the club to make it back. So if you can invest it, make it work for you, I don't see anything wrong with it. Did you ever have a, have a fight with one another dancers? Did, I, well, it wasn't about no money, though. I'm just saying fight, period. I had two. <laughs> One was in the taste of honey, and it was something stupid. It was long, many, many, many. Not about ago. money. No, I forgot what it was about, but I know. About a muscle about... guy? No, 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 damn muscle guy. Uh, oh, God. I'm just horrible. saying. And the second one was I was at, well, it was somewhere in Patterson, and the girl kept saying, we were friends, though, whatever you want to call it. And um, she kept saying, I say, like, bitch, if you stay one more time, we're going to fight. And I took off my wig, my shirt, my bra, and I popped her. And we was fighting. And her sister got into it. We're like, move. But then why, that's y'all, it. why y'all always like fighting naked? You're going to pull my stuff off. I'm already off. Oh, so the yeah. after, you can put it back on. Hmm. If you get the chance to do all that, sometimes you just got to go on go. But... I don't really a fighter. I don't like to fight. I think it's horrible, but sometimes you have to yeah. you have to do what you have to do. I try that's, to walk away. I've it's like jail, like and then it's like, yo, don't mess with Jay because she going to fight. Some of them, them of them bitches give it up. Fight like niggas. Damn. You be like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got it, girl. <laughs> and don't mind either. They don't care. But I've never been a fighter. I always try to walk away, but sometimes you just get tired, tired and you have to just, that's it. But I'm not a fighter at all. I always try to walk away. Mm. Sometimes it's not worth it. Sometimes you could have, you know, sometimes it costs too much. Anything can happen. You may just blank, black out and hit yeah. somebody over the head. Then yeah. all of a sudden you, you, got, you, a case. Got, you got a case. Then you should have said, damn, I should have just You ain't walked catch away. no case? No. <laughs> you got out of there just in time? What? I be walking away. I depends. I'll argue to the death, but sometimes you be like, mm. all right, girl. You know, yeah. you just. Go so you ain't never hit nobody over the head with a bottle, nothing? No. 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 One mistake can ruin your whole life for five seconds. You're right. Definitely right. Don't hit nobody over the head with a bottle. Mm. Somebody did that in Angels, and it was a whole issue. I was somewhere and somebody hit somebody with a hookah. That's, they that's all a lot. That's, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's all bad. So you just got to, you know. Let's keep the peace. Let's Indeed. keep the peace in the streets. Indeed. No hitting nobody with hookahs or bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know the vibes, man. Just browse. <gasps> just browsing. Some bumble in our cup. Yes, yes. You want them to follow you, Jay? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, lip gloss underscore letter N underscore vodka. Um, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. We out. We gon' get there. Yeah, we gon' get there. Yeah, we gon' get there. We all from the block and bodies.